Well, good morning everyone. April 19, actually a cloudy day here in Kentucky. It's a beautiful sunny day yesterday, but typical sort of Midwest type day today, hazy, clouds and sky. But it's a beautiful day. Uh, nonetheless, it's not raining and the temperature is uh, really nice. Uh, you probably hear a little bit of noise in the background. I want to show you our geologist over here in a moment. Dr. Andrew Snelling is teaching a group here at the Creation Museum on how to use the sluice here and teach him about geology. Actually, we have all sorts of workshop programs here at the Creation Museum. If you go to our calendar at creationmuseum.org, you'll see all sorts of workshops that we have, different sorts. This is one of our Explore workshops. Now, the Explore workshops will have again uh, beginning in August, but they have other workshops for the rest of the summer. And these are special workshops where people come in and we divide them into three groups, the younger ones, you know, ages five, seven, that sort of age, and uh, then a next age group and then an older age group. And we teach them at their level, give them a whole day of teaching in regard to various topics. Happens to be geology today. Uh, I just want you to see what goes on here at the Creation Museum, a lot of interesting things. We'll come back there in a moment. I'll just show you really quickly over here too. Uh, while uh, we're waiting on them to get that uh, sluice going there. But over here, I just want you to see uh, that, yes, it's the secularist nightmare. We're expanding the Creation Museum. <laughs> uh, and you, so many people are coming, and we knew we're going to have a problem if we don't do something, so we're building a big new parking lot here. Actually, we've already filled our main parking lot as it is, and we're already using this as overflow today. Right now, some days it's totally filled here. Uh, but this is just part of the new parking lot. Uh, you can see the heavy equipment there. And over the back there you see a big, uh, there's a big pile of dirt down the end there. That's where phase three of the parking lot goes down there. But we're adding uh, 1,400 parking spaces. And because we, s we seem to average about four people a car, that would allow five to 6,000 people here. So uh, we're really expanding that. And we hope to have phase one and two of this done and blacktopped by Memorial Day weekend. So it depends on the rain. Uh, we had so much rain, it's, it's held things up, delayed things. But uh, this is that time of year too when we start to get uh, storms. Uh, we can see over the back here the gardens and uh, the gardens actually are starting to spring back into life because after all uh, it's, it's spring and we're moving towards summer. But if you have a look, you can see all the banana trees coming up. This this will change dramatically in the next uh, three to four weeks. It's going to really change. I mean, I was here just a few days ago, and you, I didn't see really any leaves on those banana trees. Look at all those banana trees coming up. Then they've got all these other rainforest plants here. They actually had piled uh, mulch over the top of them, three to four feet of mulch that preserves them during the winter, and they've got all sorts of other rainforest plants. This turns into a real rainforest area. You can see some of the people today uh, walking through here. Actually, the number of people yesterday at the Creation Museum and at the Ark exceeded our projections, way exceeded our projections. And today, I already see the numbers they look like they're going to way exceed our projections. Uh, it's just amazing how popular the Ark and the Creation Museum have both come. And I was just uh, looking at, even uh, right now, the Ark uh, opened at 9 o'clock this morning and already, already we've got one and a half thousand people there and usually the number doubles by about midday and it's only half past ten. It's going to be a really big day at the Ark. There's going to be quite a few uh, thousands of people there. So as we come over here uh, to uh, the sluice and when the sluice is running the water comes down here and then uh, kids and adults like doing this and they actually get their bag of sand and then they can uh, use a pan and they are able to uh, pan out uh, the minerals that they have in here. So, so they're, start, they're turning the sluice on now. This is very popular during the day when kids come over here uh, to the sluice and then they're able to pan out these minerals and then they keep the minerals that are in there and it's a very generous amount of minerals. Now we have a sluice down at the Ark as well. Down at the Ark they actually pan out fossils and they get a very generous collection of fossils. So this is just another addition to what we do at the Creation Museum and at uh, the Ark. This particular sluice here was sponsored by 
uh, Cedarville University. We can see up there on the top, it's one of the few, a few handful of creationist universities that exist uh, in America that take the same stand we do at Answers in Genesis. And uh, we praise the Lord for universities like Cedarville and others, Bob Jones University and, and so on. If you go to our creationcolleges.com, you will find a list of those uh, that sign statements to say that they uh, agree with us. Now you can see Dr. Andrew Snelling right now is uh, explaining certain things about geology to his kids. Andrew has a PhD in geology from Sydney University and uh, he'll be giving them a training program today. As I said, we have all sorts of training programs. We don't do it just in geology. We do it in astronomy and biology and anatomy, physiology and so on. If you look over here, uh, you'll see pictures of the minerals that they'll find in their bag. They actually get given uh, bags of sand uh, containing those minerals and then they're able to pan them out. And uh, people who do that during the day uh, be able to take those home then and they love, they love the collection of uh, gemstones that they get. So I just wanted to uh, show you that uh, we do all those sorts of workshops here. Uh, we have groups come in. These groups are coming specially for uh, these workshops. And we, we, also, we also have more workshops going on around here. So we'll, we're going to see, see a group of families. I think they're a group of homeschool families actually down there in that pavilion. And actually one of my, one of my grandkids is down there and he was, he was making a fossil or, you know, using uh, some sort of um, dough or whatever they use. I don't know what it is, plastic uh, stuff and make, making fossils, showing them how to make fossils. Uh, it's great to see, we had a lot of wind so it's dried out the land, so it's great to see this heavy equipment getting back in to get our parking ready. Uh, we really need uh, the rest of our, our parking done here. And so they just got to finish off the drainage and, and get the gravel on top and we can blacktop this whole section um, that's out here to my right. And then we've got a whole phase three of parking expansion here at the Creation Museum going on. Uh, as well. So there's lots of construction going on here and there's lots of construction going on at the Ark too. We are uh, actually putting down blacktop today at the Ark on the pathway through the West Village. We're going to open the West Village by the middle of May and it's got uh, all sorts of interesting things in it. And then we've got the East Village. We're putting up these big monument stones that tell the history of the world and beautiful gardens and aviaries. They were pouring the concrete footings for the aviaries. Um, yesterday. So at both the Ark and the Creation Museum, the two leading Christian themed attractions in the world, thousands of people pouring in every day and we're doing all sorts of expansion at both. And right here uh, we have another workshop going on. These are, these are kids that came in early today and we have workshops during the day. This one, this one is uh, this is one of our petting zoo staff. Uh, she heads up the petting zoo here. You can see she's showing them some of the animals here. The kids love that. Let's sneak down a little closer. We'll see what's going on here. So there we are, um, teaching the kids about animals, teaching them science uh, here uh, at the Creation Museum. And I uh, just praise the Lord for all the kids that come through here, thousands and thousands of kids. And we do these special workshop programs as well. Um, they'll have other groups here today too. And then throughout the summer, we have various workshop programs. So the only way to, to really know is go to creationmuseum.org, creationmuseum.org and you'll be able to see there our workshop program. Now at the Ark, uh, we have special programs during the day on the second deck where they bring animals up there and they give animal teaching programs and they're going to be doing more teaching programs at the zoo and once we expand the zoo we'll give a lot of teaching programs down there too in regard to kinds. So 
what we do at the Ark is different to what we do here. They're two leading themed attractions, as I said. And most people spend two days at the Creation Museum. Every ticket for the Creation Museum is a two-day ticket. And more and more people are telling me they want to spend more time at the Ark now because we've opened more of the exhibits inside the Ark. Not that we didn't have a lot open, uh, but we've actually enhanced the Ark inside, added some uh, new exhibits there. And we're also adding uh, exhibits outside the Ark as well. So I can see more and more people saying they want to spend two days there as well. So uh, lots of people are telling us they're now making Northern Kentucky their vacation destination. Lots of massive tour groups coming in from all across America. Uh, lots and lots of coaches, buses that are coming in, busing people in. Not just Christian tour groups, but secular tour groups as well. So with that, I don't know if anyone's got any quick questions or not. Uh, I'm out here in the, in the gardens where the waterfall is. Uh, what we might do is just give a little walk through here just to show you a little bit of the gardens that are springing back into life after the winter. And uh, these, really, it's, it's remarkable how fast things grow uh, once we get this nice warm weather uh, that we have right now. And we've had lots of rain, so it hasn't been a lack of water or anything like that. Uh, we can see uh, lots of people today are walking, walking around uh, through the petting zoo, through the gardens and uh, the numbers here at the Creation Museum, they'll be, well my prediction today is there's going to be a few thousand people, a few thousand at the, at the Ark, uh, probably 4,000 or more at the Ark today. I mean today is a Wednesday and Wednesday is always a low day midweek. And yet between the Ark and the Creation Museum, I wouldn't be surprised if we had 6,000 odd people today, uh, which, is, uh, which is quite uh, exciting, really. And I've just looked at the projections for uh, the rest of April and May. haven't seen the projections for June yet, but uh, we, we are going to be really meeting a lot of visitors from all over America and the rest of the world. Uh, as we're coming now into summer, the busy season really starts Memorial Day weekend, but looking at the projections, it's going to be extremely busy right up until Memorial Day weekend. Then I think it's just going to get really busy, uh, a lot busier. So here at the Creation Museum, they normally open about 10 o'clock. I think now we're leading up to the summer hours. We're opening at 9, and so we've already had a number of groups that have come in. And then numbers really increase between about now, which is a quarter to 11, between about now and 3 o'clock, the numbers uh, dramatically increase. Uh, so if you want to get here at a time when it's not really crowded, uh, come early. I encourage people, come, come at 8.30 even and get a time to walk through the gardens here at the Creation Museum and the beautiful waterfalls because we do open the gardens early. And uh, then the Creation Museum itself right now for the, for the busy summer vacation hours will open about uh, 9 o'clock and then down at the Ark. Uh, we open at 9 o'clock. If you want to get to the Ark early, if you get there, say by 8.15, 8, 8, uh, they will take the first buses over, the first shuttle buses from the parking lot to the Ark at about 8.30, uh, even though the Ark itself opens at 9 and we try to uh, encourage uh, people come early and then you can enjoy that nice part of the morning and the maximum time uh, you know the times for for the greatest number of people at the Ark of the Museum tend to be from about 11 o'clock to about 2 to 3 and then we're open until 7 o'clock and as we get closer to the summer busy hours will also open uh, till about 8 o'clock uh, at night. So if you go to the website creationmuseum.org, arkencounter.com, you'll be able to see the hours of operation. They change depending on the season and we can also change them depending on projections of numbers when we know large numbers of groups are coming in. You can see they're working on the gardens now, getting them mulched as they're springing back into life and these will be, you, you won't even recognize this area in another month. I can see a lot of these plants coming back. It's, I, I, I can't believe how fast they grow. And all of these banana trees here, uh, they grow to about 20, 
20 plus feet tall. Some of them are over 22 feet tall. Banana plants in northern Kentucky. Yep. Uh, we have a very talented horticultural group uh, who do all that. So with that, we're back here at the sluice. We haven't walked through all the gardens, just a little bit of the gardens there. And you can see we have this private event going on here, our Explore workshops. And so with that, I'm going to uh, leave you all this morning. Trust you have a really great day. Make sure you come visit the Creation Museum, come visit the Ark Encounter. And for those that have been, come on return visits because we've added things. We're opening a brand new big exhibit inside the museum, the Creation Museum, uh, for Memorial Day weekend because that's going to be our 10-year anniversary weekend. And so we built a big new exhibit on Christ's Cross Consummation, startling artwork. And I believe people are, are going to be excited to see that exhibit. So don't forget, go to creationmuseum.org, arkencounter.com. We'll see you here at the Ark Encounter and the Creation Museum at some time. Have a great day.